Okay, so this is what we have to do regarding the code in the library. Um, go to this link here. I'll post this in the description. So go to this link, and um, some guys very kindly made an excellent library. He probably put a lot of work into this uh, so that we can use it. But go to clone and download, and then go to download zip. Then when that's done, open it. And then this is the way I do it. Just click in the address bar there and copy that link. Then go to Arduino and then go to include library and then go to add zip library. Then paste the link and then press open. Okay. And for me, it already exists. That's because I've done it. But hopefully for you, you'll get a message saying, success. Okay, so now we'll go through this code. I'm not going to go too mad with um, depth in this particular video, because it's meant to be a simple video. But anyway, let's start. So we include a few libraries, um, for various reasons, but you include those. Then we've got to define our pins, which, if you remember earlier, we, set, we used pins D0, D1 and D2. We actually used um, some more pins, D5 and D7, but it already knows about those. Then we initiate uh, an instance of the class here. Then I've got two simple variables. These just store the um, the unsigned int, um, I don't know, specification of a colour, if you like. Um, then down here in setup, I've got begin serial which we don't really need because I don't use serial in this particular video then tft which is the the instance of this class so tft dot init r um, that basically initiates the LCD or the tft and gets it ready then over here I've got tft dot set text wrap um, because this is quite powerful and it can it can automatically wrap text for you which is very useful but anyway in this video because it's simple I don't need it and TFT fill screen white so in other words make the whole screen white blank it off and make it white then set the text color which I've got I've called that gray but you could change these then set the text size you've got one two three four etc and then set the cursor that means that means draw here on the screen so pixel 10 and pixel 10 um, and this one here is the X coordinate which is you know left and right and this one here is the up and down Y coordinate so that's where you specify the top left point of the text which you're about to write and then tft.print line and then put in there the text that you want it to print onto the screen and then set the text size smaller of course this is completely uh, it's a completely abstract thing you can of course you're not going to do this in real life but this is just a test then set the cur cursor position again so we want to go 20 pixels lower and then write this text instead in smaller text and then in this video there's no loop and the reason for that is because it's a demonstration and I just simply want to write something on the screen once and then leave it at that because you can add the complication um, as you see fit but this is just a very simple tutorial so okay so now I'll um, I'll save this and then upload it and um, and I'll see the result alright so I flashed the device and now this is what we've got we've got very simply hello how are you showing on the LCD so there we go so we've got the node MCU working on with one of these cheap um, TFT modules and um, believe it or not I've just shown you in a couple of minutes here but it took me hours to research this and hours of messing about to try and get this to work but it turns out it's actually not so hard okay so there we go I hope the video helped you bye